Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for your patience. It's taken me a few days to um, get my energy back into alignment since I returned from New York. Um, just remember, you guys, that um, energy is fluid and time is an illusion, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. This may have happened, is happening, or still will happen, okay? Um, if this is your story, you'll know it. If it's confusing to you, you'll know it because you'll feel it everywhere. If it's confusing to you, then the message is for somebody else, okay? There's a lot of you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow <clears throat> and to help the message reach others. If I don't connect with your energy this time, please check back with me next time. Also, please don't forget to check your other placements and your other readings that I've done so far. If you'd like to schedule a personal reading with me, the information to that is in the description box below. Um, follow me on IG, you guys, um, at infinite underscore love, 1111. You can contact me there on DM for personal readings as well. Cross watchers, I could be in your energy and speaking directly to you, okay? So um, please feel free to reverse the roles. I see the king of pentacles. So you guys are feeling very stable very secure right now financially stable feeling on top of your game right but there is a decision that you guys are at a crossroads about it could be in a career or regarding a commitment a relationship or this could be somebody in your energy okay there's something that you're not sure about virgos that you're confused about but if you go within like the hermit like your energy that's where you'll find your answers Trusting your intuition. But there's something that you're block, trying to block out of your life or trying to... Either you're not able to find the answers or you're not seeing it, okay? Um, let's call in our support team. I see, again, with the two of, two of swords here and the sun, okay? So perhaps there's union with someone that you would like, um, but you're just not sure to go about it, Right? Or this could just be your health and vitality, right? Coming and finally coming into harmony, choosing happiness. Let's call in our support team. Calling in my archangels, guardian angels, spirits of love and light, universe, source, Father God, divine mother, Holy Spirit. Please assist me in being a clear channel of guidance, clarity, understanding, healing, and insight for the best and highest good of Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Virgo spirit. message for Virgo spirit what does Virgo need to know right now what is going on with Virgo okay so bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles someone is feeling a little left out in the cold here or someone is considering that I saw the king of pentacles I'm not seeing this as somebody that is struggling financially it could be right um considering a lot of people is in transition right now with their jobs but this is could also be so there's two people here this could also be um, people missing each other, being apart from someone you care about, um, maybe fear of rejection, or maybe somebody was left out in the cold. Let's find out more. Spirit, message for Virgo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. Your energy came out here with the magician. Okay. We have the moon here. So exactly what I said with the two of swords. There's something you're not seeing, right? Um, the moon can re represent um, illusions, right? Deception. It's Pisces energy. It can represent illusions, deception. It can also represent the, it represents the, sub the subconscious, Right? There's something that you're not trusting your intuition about. The moon is intuition, which we saw with the two of swords. Right, um, You're holding back on something and you're trying to find the strength and the courage to move, to be patient regarding something that you've been waiting on. 
you're looking towards the future you're seeing ahead here with the three of wands right um you're, you're struggling to find the clarity in something the sun wants to come out here for you but um you're having trouble seeing it right now because you're 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 under a little bit of illusion here okay there's there's some kind of uh, deception, something that needs to come out into the open, something that will be revealed to you, okay? We have here a few major arcana. We have Leo twice here, so you could be dealing with the Leo. We have the Magician, which is you um, or Gemini. Uh, and then we have the Tower, which is Scorpio. So there's there, there will be a Tower moment or there is a Tower moment, but the Tower is here, Virgos, to help to clear the way so whatever it is you're waiting on, whatever it is you're trying to manifest here with the, magi with the magician can come in for you, okay? Um, you are being very strong and you're being very patient here. Whatever it is that you are waiting on um, to arrive, um, there's going to be de a definite shakeup because the foundation that you're currently standing on right now isn't a solid foundation. You're not living up to your highest potential. So the universe is going to step in here, right? And create a, a swift change in your life, okay? To create um, space and room for your new, for your manifestations that you're waiting on. Your ships wants to come in for you, Virgo, okay? But, um, but it's not coming in yet because... There's something that you're holding yourself back from going after here, okay? And you are being, you're taming the inner be the beast, the inner lion here. Um, I feel like you're holding yourself back from your happiness is what I'm getting with the sun in reverse. There might be a little bit of sadness here. The sun in reverse represents a little bit of depression, maybe some dark night of the soul. Maybe this tower already happened, right? Let's find out more. Spirit, why is strength here for Leo? Clarify strength. I'm sorry, not for Leo. Why did I say that? Because the strength represents Leo. So um, uh, for Virgo, I meant spirit. Um, we got the strength and the sun, two energies of Leo. This is masculine energy, right? So maybe um, the sun is masculine energy. So maybe um, your masculine energy within you needs a little bit of balancing and harmony, a little bit of work here for you to take action. It seems like you're waiting on something and you're manifesting and you're putting it out to the ethers. A spirit wants you to know that you have all the tools here to manifest everything that you want to come in. And if you don't take action, what I'm hearing is if you don't take action towards whatever it is that you're wanting here, right? That's when the tower is going to come in, okay? So um, the tower is going to come in to bring in everything that you want. Spirit, clarify strength for Virgo. Okay, this is regarding your stability here, and it could even be regarding a connection, okay? A twin flame connection, perhaps, with the four of wands, but this is about a union. Um, you're being, you're trying to manifest union here, right? we got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's financial security, financial abundance, financial stability here, financial freedom, but also the marriage, right? The family, the empire, the legacy, the grandchildren. Um, complete financial security and stability. Yeah, with the King of, with the King of Pentacles here. Somebody wants to, to commit. Somebody wants to come in and um, commit to you. This could be, like I said, vice versa, right? This could be your person's energy. Um, but the King of Pentacles wanted to show up again. So financially, I see that you're doing really well. Um, this is you. I'm seeing this is you because of Virgo and the King of Pentacles. It's Earth sign, right? Um, you're you're stable. You're you're being strong and being patient regarding this union, perhaps, or this connection or this stability here that you're creating for yourself, right? But there's still some there there's still some conflict within your energy here. Um, what I'm hearing is being grateful for what you have, being grateful for what you have right now, trusting and allowing the universe, right, to to bring forth, trust and allowing it the, the path, trusting and allowing, this is like an energy here of, of fear, of anxiety, of stress and worry. This could be a lot of people involved in your energy here, right? Could be conflict, could be jealousy, could be fighting, 
um, this, but what I'm getting is it could be, this is an inner struggle, right? Um, you're feeling tight. This is all in your head. The nine of swords is, is created, right? It's fears that we create within our own mind with limiting beliefs, thinking about too much, thinking about the past, thinking about the future too much, not really staying in the present moment. Um, perhaps something happened, right? That put you in the nine of swords energy here. Um, Maybe something that's taking too long to manifest is what I'm getting. Let's find out more. Spirit, why is the sun in reverse for Virgo? Yeah, we've got the lovers in reverse. So there might have been a breakup here that left you feeling very sad, right? Very sad, depressed. The sun, the sun in reverse is depressed. Re There's a choice here, which we saw that with the two of swords. There's a choice that needs to be made. The lovers in reverse, sometimes I read it as a choice has been made. But also, um, this is a very strong spiritual connection. It could be Gemini that you're dealing with. Um, a strong spiritual connection that, that has been um, torn apart, perhaps, because there was multiple people involved. We saw the five of wands and we saw the two of swords, right? And over here, the three of wands. So because there is a lot going on in your energy, right? You're having a hard time. It's taking strength and, and courage and patience for you to regain your stability here and rebuild your empire, right? Which you're doing that, I see. But regarding your romantic life here, there's a little bit of a turmoil that's happening. Yeah, giving to more than one person perhaps or not giving enough in a situation. Not a balanced not a balanced out connection here if we're talking about a connection yeah exactly with the ten of swords right somebody was stabbed a bunch of times in the back here there was a lot of pain that was involved regarding this connection and now i feel like somebody's trying to manifest you back here with the four with the four of wands and the and the ten of pentacles and they're just in their heads about how how to do that meanwhile they're watching and waiting from the sidelines trying to manifest you back if this is regarding love right it's just general so it could be career it could be love it could be somebody waiting for a job to come in here with the three of wands um but this is someone that put the energy out there and now they're waiting for their ships to come in this is a manifestation in progress um, and it's coming right but it's not going to show up the way you expected is what i'm hearing it's not going to show up the way you expected it to show up. It's going to shake up your life, but it's going to shake shake up your life so that to bring in, you know, um, your abundance, right? The things that you're wanting here. So let's find out more. Spirit, why is the three of wands? Yeah, someone is waiting to take action. Look at the king of wands. The king of wands is very creative, very magnetic. It's entrepreneur. Right? This is somebody. Now we have two kings here. This is somebody that um, that is very passionate, very driven, very ambitious, right? Very attractive, and um, I think that he, from what I'm, from what I'm feeling here, like, cause see, both of these energies, they're looking in the direction of the sun in reverse and the lovers in reverse. See, both looking out, looking in the same direction here. So what I'm getting is that this king here is watching and waiting and waiting for the right time to make a move, trying to find the courage here to step to step up and take action. The king of rods here, he takes action towards what he wants, towards his dreams, towards his goals. He's an entrepreneur. He's extremely attractive, very magnetic, very passionate, very driven. He goes after what he wants and he's very, very fiery, very, very intense about it. And somebody that's also very extremely sexually attracted to you, right? Uh, very passionate about you. Wants a commitment with you. Queen of Pentacles, it's your energy, right? Now we have a, a, a divine pair here. The King and Queen of Pentacles, okay? So um, this, is, this is about a commitment is what I'm hearing. Um, somebody's trying to manifest their way back, but because there was some pain, some suffering, some betrayal, some things that happened in the past here that caused this 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 breakup, right? Um, somebody is just not knowing how to come come back in and is waiting for the right time. The magician for Virgo. The magician for Virgo. Wow, the queen of rods. Now we have two 
Now we have two divine, we have a, this is a divine counterpart. We have the queen of rods and the king of rods. Yeah, somebody is passionately trying to manifest their way back to you or you them, okay? Um, but again, both energies in alignment here, feeling the same way, wanting the same things, passionate about the same things, both people having all the tools that they need here to manifest this, right? Both people are in the same vibration here. Um, kings, I'm getting kings. I'm not getting pages. I'm not getting knights. I'm getting kings, okay? But there's a blockage, right? The two of swords. What is this blockage about? What is this, right? What is this? This is, I feel like this is the timing. Not knowing how to, to, to not seeing, not, not really trusting the, in, your intuition. We saw the moon card. Not really knowing how to move this thing forward here. The tower. Clarify the tower for Virgo. Why is the tower here? Yeah. Whatever it is that you're working on, that you're trying to bring into fruition, that you're manifesting, that you're fo really focused on here, right? A lot of earth. So that's your energy, right? Whatever it is that you're trying to work on, um, that's what the tower is bringing in. The tower is bringing in this change that you're trying to manifest for yourself, right? And I'm seeing that it could be in relation to a relationship here. I believe that this is going to be a good... It is The tower isn't bad. I mean, it's bad as far as like it instantly shakes up your world, turns your world upside down, right? But it's not bad as far as um, why it comes in. It comes in to bring you a new beginning, right? Somebody wants... Somebody is working on, like I said, with the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles... Right, somebody is working on coming in with an offer of a commitment here, right? Um, the tower sometimes um, represents an awakening, a breakthrough. Whatever it is that you're working on or your person is working on, right, there's a breakthrough. And, um, and the breakthrough is, this is a spiritual connection to begin with, right? There's a lot of lessons that's been learned here. Where you could be dealing with a spiritual leader, you could be a spiritual leader, or your person could be a spiritual leader, right? Some you guys have learned a lot from this with the ten of swords that I saw, and um, and this tower here, right? But uh, what I'm getting is this is good. This is going to be a good tower. This is I don't feel that this tower is going to because of the energy is clarifying it and surrounding it, right? Is about movement forward. It's about success. It's about triumph. It's about a new beginning in love here with someone, a commitment, and someone is working really hard. Somebody wants to put in the work, wants to commit to you with the higher font here. And that's going to be a tower in your life because it's going to be an instant shift, an instant change. The second that this king here takes action and moves towards you, right? To, somebody wants to expand. Somebody's seeing a future here with you, okay? And um, the second that this king takes action, boom. Everything's going to change in your life. And you're both manifesting each other here. Both mirroring each other. With the, the clarify the magician. Action needs to be taken. That's the only thing. Right? And I see here that action will be taken. Somebody's going to move towards you. This is cancer energy. But this is also an energy of triumph. Right? And an energy of new beginning. Uh, victory. Success. Moving forward. Right? This tower is going to come in. So, so that you guys can move forward together, balanced out. The yang and the yang here, okay? The dark and the light. I'm loving this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The ace of pentacles, the judgment, and the chariot. There's a new beginning, a second chance, right? The tower's coming in to bring in your manifestation. The, this pentacle here that you're working on, that you've been working on, right? What you've been waiting on here with the three of wands, okay? It's coming. It's coming. It's probably going to come during, um, you know, these eclipses in June, right? Because the tower represents something like that, like an, like an eclipse, right? A, a, quick, a quick, swift change for the better, 
Okay, this is a second chance. This is an awakening. This is somebody making a final decision here. The hearing the call and taking action towards it, right? Taking action towards claiming this new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles could be a new car, a new house, an engagement, it, a new job. It's a tangible new beginning that's being offered to you. Something that you've been manifesting here with the Magician and the Three of Wands. It's coming. So once again, your reading that always um, blows my mind. It's always so beautiful. Right, because you guys are just really, really, you guys work really hard, right? This is your energy. You guys work really hard. You guys are perfectionists. You guys make sure that everything that you do is perfect. Um, you guys are cautious. You guys are, ca are careful, right, with your, with, your, with your work, with your manifestation, with the things that you're trying to build, right? You showing up here. This is your energy, the magician, right? Showing up here in your element manifesting a beautiful life here wanting to come together with someone someone wanting to come together with you we saw the king and the queen of pentacles the king and the queen of wands right there's been a huge transformation after a disappointing rejection perhaps or a missed opportunity right there was an ending and now with this judgment card there's going to be a new beginning coming in here for you real soon so continue to hold the vision okay and um, I would clear your third eye, your crown chakra, and your solar plexus because there's this this new beginning here. You're struggling to see it. We saw that with the moon and the two of swords. You sh you're, you're struggling to feel it and see. It. And if perhaps I'm getting an energy of someone feeling a little impatient, okay? Um, that strength is needed. Patience is needed, okay? Because uh, I'm seeing that you're probably waiting a long time for this to manifest. That, that This pentacle takes a long time to manifest. The three of wands, you know, takes a long time to manifest, right? Somebody's been waiting a long time for this. Working really hard on their energy. Working really hard on their stability here. On their life. And um, now the universe is going to come in and reward you, right? And, it, and, and it's going to come instant. It's going to be an instant fast change so prepare yourself but it's all going to be for to try to stay aligned and try to stay balanced when this when all these changes starts to manifest for you because um it's going it's going to be it's going to be quite the shock okay but it's going to be a good shock it's everything you ever wanted okay so it's going to throw you off balance for a little bit but it's only only to bring you to where you're where you're supposed to be all right Let's um, get a romance angel here for you, and then we'll get the fairy. Spirit, what message do you have for Virgo? This is a beautiful reading, Virgos, as usual. What message do you have for Virgo regarding their energy here in the spread? What message do you have for Virgo, Spirit? What message? I keep seeing reconciliation. Is this for the deck? So I do see a reconciliation here. Somebody's coming back to offer beautiful love, okay? And a commitment, perhaps an engagement, right? That's probably why you're going to feel like it's a shock. <laughs> soulmate, okay? We got soulmate. All right, spirit, message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. Ooh. Message for Virgo. To give your relationship a chance so whenever this person comes in okay it's going to take work it's going to take effort and um for on both parts okay because you guys i saw that you guys went through a lot so um it's important that that you understand that it will take work and it will take effort okay and you're being supported by the divine there has been some deception here in the past perhaps this person that you're dealing with isn't telling you that they want this new beginning with you. And that's probably the tower is going to come in. It's going to reveal the truth here, okay? And the truth is that this person wants wants to come in and offer you this new beginning here in love, okay? Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Perhaps this was an energy that went down in the past, right? We did see the Ten of Swords. We did see, you know, um, that there was um, some pain that went with the lovers here in reverse, the sun in reverse. There were some things that went down in the past, right? Um, 
and we saw the moon put that that means there's something hidden right um and when you tap into your you know your 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 nature your hermit nature go within um and tap into your intuition the answers that you're seeking is going to come through okay all you got to do is just ask ask the angels ask spirit ask the universe for the answers and it will be revealed to you with the sun you're not seeing things right now though you don't have clarity right now but clarity is coming to you okay this tower is going to bring in the clarity that you're seeking we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, practicing the law of attraction is, is being a master manifester, right? Being grateful for what you already have, right? Um, all of these things here you're trying to manifest with the magician card here that's taking a long time, that's taking patience. When the more that you that you believe, feel that it's already yours, that it's already here, the faster it'll come to you, right? For that, you have to surrender to the divine and release all control, let go of control issues. The spirit is here telling you that you need that you need patience, right? You need to to this 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 is ego too, right? The shadow side of Leo could be ego, right? Releasing the ego a little bit of trying to control how things are going to happen, how things are going to manifest and hop into the energy of the law of attraction here. Just enjoy every enjoy, exactly what I said in the beginning, right? Um practicing the art of gratitude here, feeling grateful for we for what you already have. I got an energy of somebody feeling impatient. This King of Rods, it's giving me an energy of impatience, right? Um, watching and waiting and wanting to pounce here, wanting to go for it, right? But not, but being all up in their head about it with the, with the Nine of Swords and feeling conflicted, Two of Swords, you know, um, and just relax into it and everything will manifest for you. Have real faith in the divine, okay? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then we have healing family issues. So with the Ten of Pentacles, that could be, you know, in the Four of Wands, a history of um, perhaps it might have been some inner child, some childhood traumas that happened in the past, right? That might, might need to, you know, the sun in reverse, right? This also to me represents inner child, right? The heart chakra, the Leos is ruled by the heart, masculine energy. There is something that... that probably went down in your childhood or your person's childhood that you might still need to do a little bit more inner child work here okay so that so that you can have a harmonious union when your person does come in or when you do meet if this is a new love when you do meet you know um your life partner your love life benefited when you forgive your parents okay beautiful energy there's definitely some some heart chakra work that's needed here in inner child work. Okay? All right, spirit. Spirit for the fairies. What message, guidance, and advice do you have for Virgo? What guidance and advice do you have for Virgos from the fairies? What message do you have for Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. We have wish wisely, right? There's a lot of wishing happening here on both sides. Wish wisely. This could be also what I'm getting from Spirit is that there's action. Your masculine and feminine energy is what I felt also in the beginning needs to come into balance here, into harmony, okay? healing the inner child there's some there's action that needs to be taken towards a goal or a dream right with this eight of pentacles there's something that that you're working on that action needs to be taken but it's it's requiring a lot of patience and a lot of time and a lot of effort right for this ace of pentacles to manifest okay so perhaps 
you need to do a little bit of inner and fem inner masculine divine f feminine divine masculine healing so you can come into balance with your yin and your yang here that's what i'm getting with the lovers in reverse that's a masculine and feminine energy not in balance and not in alignment okay and i feel like that's also going to help with your inner child your heart chakra is really going to help to balance out a lot of things in your life here so that um, your manifestations can come in. That's what I feel is the blockage, right? Um, wish wisely, okay? Let me read this to you. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Yeah, there's action that needs to be taken. There's practical steps here that needs to be taken for your dreams to come true. It's not going to manifest for you until you take action, right? With the magician energy here, as above, so below. As within, so without. This is, the, this is an energy of somebody that creates in the physical world what they want to bring into their life, okay? They tangibly uses all the tools here, all the elements, air, water, fire, and earth to bring, to bring into existence their goals and their dreams, okay? So the magician energy comes out, it's the energy of creation, right? You're in the process of creation, but this creation, it, it needs, action needs to be taken, towards it okay if ships are coming in here you're seeing you're looking up to the horizon you're looking towards the future you're looking towards expansion jupiter energy right um and everything has fallen into place you just need to just surrender to the divine surrender control and allow for things to manifest okay act as if it's already here and then we have protection okay virgo the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. So, okay, so maybe you need to do some meditation to clear your energy and to protect your energy. Because it looks to me like you're going to have some beautiful things that's coming in here for you. And um, they might, we saw the five of wands, right? They might bring forth some envy from outsiders. Um... So it's important that you protect, that you protect yourself. And also don't share too much with people what you're trying to build here for yourself, right? Because that can cause um, to evil eye, what I'm hearing, evil eye. But you're, you're protected, okay? But definitely um, do some, some psychic release, psychic protection meditations. Let's see if um, the angels have anything else to say to you from the angels answers deck here. Spirit for Virgo. Message for Virgo regarding this spread. Message for Virgo spirit. Message for Virgo. Act as if Virgo. Spirit message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. Ooh. You're ready. Virgo, I love getting this card. And I see here that you are. I'm seeing kings. Right, I'm seeing king's energy here. I'm seeing judgment. It's time. To, it, the time is now to receive this 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 manifestation and to move forward with the chariot. Right, um, you've done the work, and I honestly feel like if you don't be assertive, be assertive, king and queen of wands. If you don't take action and you don't be assertive, right, then that's that's when the tower will come in. To be honest. I feel like it's at your reach here. Everything you want is at your reach. It's here. It's arrived for you, right? And I feel like there's a lot of fear around moving towards this, this romance, right? A lot of fear moving forward towards this romance. And um, the Spirit is saying, you're probably thinking not right now, not the right time, but you are ready, right? It's up to you. You're in charge of your own creation, of your own manifestation. You're ready, okay? You're ready for this romance. 
although I know that you guys like to to you it's very hard for you guys I know because I have a Virgo son right to feel not feel ready ever when you're working this is somebody that's very meticulous that works really hard that's a perfectionist right with the Virgos, they want everything to be just right, just perfect before they can make a move towards some, toward whatever, right? It is like whether you're launching a, a, a mixtape or artwork or a book you're writing or whatever it is that you're working on, it's done, it's finished. There's nothing more to do. Sometimes, like I told, like I tell my son, art isn't perfect a hundred percent, right? And knowing you guys, it. You guys have put in your best. So you are ready. Feel it, right? Feel it. Stop stressing over it. Stop worrying about it. Whatever this is that you're working on, okay? You're ready to launch. <laughs> Basically, you're ready to launch. You're ready. You're ready for this for this new chapter here, right? You're ready. You're ready. On your mark, get set, go. You're ready to launch. Hear the call, okay? You are ready. Go for it. Go for it, okay? The time, this is it's not the right time. This is what you're thinking in your head. That it's not the right time. But it is. This whole spread is telling me it's the right time. The time is now, okay? You're ready. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your love, for your support, for your patience, for your kindness, for your donations, for booking readings with me. If this resonated, right? Contact me so we can get together and we can get a more personalized um, reading, okay? I love you guys. Namaste. Take care. Mwah.